this is uh this is a pretty fun little website so let's go ahead and dig in it should be pretty good so nova life did a lot of documentation about his experiences playing the game and like did it in a really storyteller-esque form like everything's really kind of dramatized and really kind of written to like high fantasy so like it's pretty interesting he says his name is uh jordan and he was 21 in 2006 so a little older than most of us it's pretty interesting that he didn't start playing runescape until runescape 2 came out whereas most of the top of the high score hop, uh, high scores people back then had started playing pretty much in runescape classic so like he he shot up out of nowhere i don't know if he knew like efficiency to a point that almost no one else understood back then or if he just played a ton he basically maxed his account in a little over two years um at a time when almost no one knew how to like max an account efficiently he actually like writes a whole poem here or like a whole story about his experience joining the game basically at least for me back then i also did this kind of thing where i like overly dramatized my experiences in the game so it's very nostalgic for me so this banner is really nostalgic this was really common to have on forums back in the day um you'd have this as a signature and it basically pulls your stats from the high score so it would update automatically so these are just some skill achievements that he had some of these links are broken but many are not so this is from july 2006 sitting in the uh the basement of the lumbridge castle this is probably a high scores image yeah exactly little little delphi i don't know how to pronounce that name very well um she was basically another really big name on the high on the high scores back then she was a bit of a different one though because she lagged behind in total experience or total level rather and had a lot of total experience so like this image is pretty nostalgic for me because i used to crawl the high scores a lot looking at these accounts so the histories page i want to say is yeah this one's got some pretty cool pictures on it and this is like really interesting for me this is the kind of stuff i was also noting about my accounts and like making a journal about he like notes that he was in the black arm gang noted his friend nickname was denkel noted what company he worked for the brown for the uh giant dwarf do you do you remember what company he worked for for giant dwarf looking through some of these screenshots is really great though this one is really nostalgic um getting the fire cape oh, i guess we don't know the exact date this was but it's definitely pre-2006 because of these vials these were like 2005 vials and 2004 vials i think so i think it was probably shortly after fight capes came out but look at the inventory it's got full guffins with the black dragon high body switch and the ranger boots broad arrows prayer potions with the holy wrench it's like a classic fire cape setup right there gotta love the guffins especially Van vanquishing the collar and airman sir this is closer to 2007 old school because uh recipe for disaster came out at the end of 2006 full rogues outfit which i find is really interesting because if you didn't know full rogues did not give you double loot from thieving until like well into old school runescape's development history so i just love the guy in the snelm over here rune defender oh he has a on the inventory right there oh man look at the old cyclops look at this guy i did not even know cyclops looked like that i didn't know cyclops had an old model that's interesting champion challenge he also completed the champion challenge which is pretty interesting if there was a completionist cape back then he would have had it i think there was no champions cape back then though it's like geez there must have only been like a single digit number of people who actually completed this content back then and then he actually has the history of all of his level ups here all of his 99s so some pretty nostalgic pictures here this is what 2005 april 23rd 2005 99 hit points no farming just slayer killing abyssal demons in the slayer tower apparently fire making was the second 99 which is interesting for the time because it was even more useless than it is now it's like a construction oh look at that there's a party got a nice little house party going on here it's pretty good these ones are um probably one of the most interesting parts here is he took a picture of the high scores at the end of every month so you can kind of see the pro the progress of the account july 2004 so this was his first month playing and looks like he was free to play only no slayer just rune crafting runescape 2 had only been out for a couple weeks at that point no a couple months it was like april it came out it had some pretty good skill levels for your first month in free to play though so second month still free to play man those are some pretty beefy skill levels is he using a rune battle axe he is using a rune battle axe isn't he let's take a look at july the first screenshot of year two wow rank 10 1964 total level he's 185 million total experience that's pretty good i mean i feel like even if you're playing a lot of hours you still have to have some pretty good knowledge of efficiency to achieve these numbers with the methods that were available i mean it definitely kind of shows that this person was like 20 when the rest of us were like
like seven. He was the most efficient of the inefficient. Yep, absolutely. And then of course, looking at um, the end of year two, basically maxed pretty much rank one. 200 mil cooking in two years. Let's keep moving on. Oh yeah, bank fix, that's right. Well, I guess let's go through the first one and then and then let's go through the last one because that's the most interesting one. You know, this is a pretty modest bank here. Got, uh, you know, decent stacks of runes. Some pretty cool old icons here, that's for sure. The old logs icons. Best in slot weapons where uh, Dragon Long and Dragon Battle Axe. Best in slot gloves here, Clank's Gauntlets. All right, let's grab that end of July 2006 bank pick though. Uh, let's see how much uh, let's see how much our man made in the process. 237 mil cash stack. Notice it's not white text, which is uh, pretty interesting. I like the uh, energy potions up near the top for efficiency. That's pretty cool to see. And farm all the farming stuff here. Some laws and ore or some um, sorry some bars and ores. Got all of the quest items here for sure. I guess he was collecting talismans. 100 and 38 chaos and 189 cosmic that's interesting this was like standard abyss rune crafting equipment for sure yeah you know the rune slayer drops that no high level level player ever else that you could have and then we got barrows too you know bear ox and stuff this is actually a pretty modest bank for the time i think zezima's bank was more impressive than this a green Halloween mask, which um, is basically uh, discontinued at this point in time. So I think that was somewhere around like 10, 12 mil. Pretty interesting to see. Item wish list. I think these are just pictures of him getting the items. Oh, look at that moss giant. This must be like 2005. Oh, look, Swift Switch. That's classic. So you got a dragon square shield from a moss giant. That's so cool. Man, I love the moss giant. Uh, old school. That's so cool. Abyssal Whip Drop, March 9th, 2005. So this was probably like three or four weeks after Slayer came out. One of the first whips in the game for sure. The cool thing is like, it looks like he was doing the prayer method of Slayer with like monk's robes and um, prayer on. I feel like that was pretty non-standard back in the day. Oh yeah, that attack menu is amazingly nostalgic. That's amazing. So in the QA, he says, where are your rares? Up until the end of June 2006, I didn't have any interest in rare items. And now he's currently building up money to afford a Piat set. I feel like he almost had enough because I don't think a Piat set was too much more than like two or 300 mil, which is what he had. Abyssal whips when they were 26 to 28 million. That's amazing. I love this. I think this was like a, um, yeah, like a, a, an app that someone made online that allowed you to plan out your house. And also like, it was actually a cool looking house. Now, what is this one? War. I wonder what this one is. Gladiators Cavalier. I serve the gladiators. My duties include fighting for the clan, defending its honor, and upholding clan integrity. The gladiators has its roots deep in RuneScape history, being one of the oldest clans remaining. <laughs> There's a free to play clan war for you. Man, I don't even know how you organized this kind of thing back then. There was no Discord or anything. Good old school clan wars here. We have trouble filling a BA, yeah, exactly. Clans nowadays sell their own websites? Yeah, that makes sense in clan forms. That's just complete chaos. That's so interesting. Imagine being a looter back then. You could seriously make a serious killing back then, feasting on all that rune. Look at some more of these. Like, look at this march. That's so cool. It's like marching out of Varrock. I love it. Gladiators was a clan that was still alive and well into 2010 and had a rivalry partnership with Wilderness Guardians. They're both honor clans, and there was a big divide between honor and non honor clans. Interesting. All right, um, let's keep going here. Personal tips. Well, this is very intense. Yeah, there's some serious efficiency going on here. This is almost as good as a, a wiki guide. Like, look, they had, he had all the Slayer Masters mapped out by which, um, which masters can actually assign the monsters. Oh yeah, this is the official RuneScape forums too. Like imagine back in the day you were um, just chopping away at Willows like I am now. You were just like, oh, I got a magic seed. How do I sell it? You go on the forum and you find a thread like this and you would sell it to that person like meet them up in game, super cool. Guide to organize your computer for RS, Windows XP. I create a folder for all saved RS files. Shortcut to egg timer plus, form layouts, glads member list, market prices, Nova Life friends list. Wow, this is some serious efficiency from back in the day. That's awesome. Find alternate ways to keep in touch. <laughs> MIRC, MSN Messenger, AIM or TeamSpeak. Classic, classic stuff. Thank God you don't have to anymore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, if you didn't have that all documented yourself, good luck finding it by crawling from via forums and figuring out what to actually do. I mean, we definitely take for granted today just how convenient the wiki has made everything. Oh man. I did this exact kind of thing though. Seriously, like I'm literally going to, um, at some point we'll do a stream where I go through all of my old RuneScape screenshots and videos 
It'll be great. Money making tips. Rune kites. Yeah, if you have like 99 smithing, I guess. If you bury your drop bones, raise your car character attacks, you won't suffer a delay attacking the next round. It's helpful when your inventory is close to full. That's actually like a really good tip. Stand up and stretch every hour to feel refreshed. This is especially important if you're training for a long time. You do not need to sign off to do this. Smart. <laughs> uh, links. Let's see if any of these are still alive. Sal's Realm of RuneScape, of course. There we go, 2005. Ape and Told Dungeon, Dragon Hunting, Morton, Underground Miscellanea. <laughs> Love it. Oh man, this is such a nostalgic website. We'll have to explore this one another day just in general. See what happens. Is this website still hosted? Still live? It is. Look at that. March 2007 was the most recent post. Fan sites, RuneScape, RuneScape related sites. Let's check out Killers. Killer XXX Killer 69s. Fan site. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, there's just so much, so much old RuneScape stuff out here. But man, these are some niche fan sites for sure. RSHSC.net, RuneScape High Scores Catalog. School, like, Temple OSRS type of service? That's pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and look at the scrapbook. Let's keep it moving. So, the scrapbook is pretty interesting because these are like personal journal entries. Um, about the game from Nova Life. So on August 6, 2006, Nova Life documented a war against uh, TRWF. Interesting. I did a small Renar seed analysis. Here are the results 88 seeds, 592 herbs, max harvest 16, 6.73 herbs per seed. Made a total of, what is that, 4 million gold and spent almost 2 million on the seeds. Interesting. You seem to get more than double the profit if you sell the herbs rather than the seeds. <laughs> Good to know. Paul personally contacted me inside the game today. He needed information regarding the top fletching and cooking ranks in order of which have been messed up lately. <laughs> That's so interesting. Oh, there's a lot of journal here, actually. There's so much to read. Decided to get agility to 1 million experience, finished waterfall quest with tank, fished some lobsters, crafted 2.5k cow hides into leather bodies to be converted into studded leather later. Pretty proud of myself, I mined 16k coal, made it all into steel bars, then made billions of studded leather and high elked all of them. Now the only skills lacking in experience are ranging, prayer, rune crafting, and herb lore. Off to train combat soon, I can't wait to be level 100. God, I hate combat. <laughs> There you go. It was a dirty skiller. He voted no to all the PVM updates and PVP updates. Let's go ahead and move on to the ramble tab. List of RuneScape tweaks and suggestions. A separate chat for training. Oh yeah, okay, so this is where he listed a bunch of suggested, um, basically like his suggestions for the game. Replace the black void in the background with colors that match the environment. Oh, look at that. Update agility by running errands around the map of RuneScape. See one, one small favor quest. To gain experience, currently agility is very restrictive. Jagex Shop can sell untradeable special outfits. Oh look, they did, eventually did that too. <laughs> Option to mute the main theme, my hero. Yeah, it's there now. <laughs> exactly. Clan meeting halls, banners, and customized armor logos. It only took, you know, 13 years for us to get that. So that's something. Give skills and levels to meeting. Level 90 feels like an empty accomplishment. This was before skill caves of accomplishment for sure. Analysis, you're all annoying. Go away. Project annoyance. <laughs> it's just a list of people pinging him. That's funny. Can you lend me like 200k? I have nothing left to stake. Oh my gosh, no. The duel arena was already causing people to lose their banks. <laughs> oh no, I have nothing left to stake. Don't give it to him. Run in with eBay. The date is August 31st, 2005. I get a PM from a clanmate, Water Warrior 9, who tells me he's found someone selling my character on eBay. Curious, I go there and look, and sure enough, I found this. I am selling a Gmail account, and with it, you will get my RuneSkip account, password, and recovery questions free of charge. <laughs> People were selling accounts on uh, eBay back then too. Someone won the bid for $1,000. Wow, someone scammed someone for $1,000 in real life back in September 1st, 2005. That's, in that's actually incredibly interesting. Having recently read Zizma's interview on Tippet, I've decided to find out for myself just how unreadable the private chat can get. So for one minute, I let the messages pour in. Here are the results. Oh my gosh, one minute of messages. <laughs> This is what it was like to be at the top of the high scores back then. You said you play 10 to 12 hours a day, but I've never seen you on. Okay, so there's evidence to say that he probably just played a lot. But even at 10 to 12 hours a day, to get all this done in two years is really impressive. Especially back then, when no one really knew efficiency super well. Though it seems like Noble Life kind of had it down. Alright, let's go to the picks tab. RSHumor.net, does anyone remember that? <laughs> 
I just realized. Like, that was like the classic meme site for RuneScapes. Does it load? Oh, it does. I remember it. And you click the picture and it changes. I totally remember this website. This is a complete and total tangent. Oh my gosh, okay, let's get off of this site. <laughs> I don't wanna be here anymore. Show us his noob outfit. I'd love to, but I think it's not gonna work. Oh, it did work. What's the noob outfit? Oh, I love it. Look at this. Steel mace, uh, glory, bronze med, wooden shield. Uh, what better way to capture the spirit of an MMORPG than to take pictures of the very people who inhabit it? Ballora Candid picks up well-known players I've collected. Oh, doing desert treasure. Look at this one. Old quest uh, window. This must be right after Desert Treasure came out because he's got everything else done. Oh, he has a picture of the old knight, doesn't he? Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Oh man, that must be from like early 2004. Is Zezima on here, you think? Killing Kuresks. There you go. I foresee a ham sandwich in my future. Later, guys. <laughs> That's great. I love it. All right, let's check out the museum. It's the last tab. I noticed that um, he posted some essays general commentary about like you know greed and gaming and stuff but then he's like i stopped writing the essays because i realized in order to be completely political correct i have to write nothing at all um that's one way to look at it oh man it says old jagex website pictures but i don't think there's any actually on here unfortunately oh wait right here jagex is usually pretty strict about not having any of their pages on web archive but this one must have slipped through the cracks look at this like this was this website was up for ages after it stopped being updated in 2002. I remember visiting this page for sure. I think that's pretty much it then. We've pretty much looked through it all. This is just a super interesting um, thing to check out. And I mean, the nostalgia is just bubbling through me. If you haven't looked through the site, I highly recommend it. It's a great spot to look for some 2004 or 2006 era nostalgia, which for me, I started playing in late 2005, so I'm more on the tail end of that. And it's all available on the web archive, so definitely check it out um, if you uh, want to explore it some more. It's pretty cool.